look at this lovely surprise that we have for you. A different mongoose species than the ones that you will see on Juma. Just because, essentially, they're there, but we hardly ever see them. They just run away. Whereas out here in the Mara, this is the most common species of mongoose. And we see them flowing through grass in waves, in numbers I would say that easily reach about a troop of around about 40 or so individuals. So there we go, a family of banded mongoose sunning themselves on a termite mound. I would say about two and a half, maybe even three times the size of a dwarf mongoose. Dave, would you say that's about accurate? I would say about that. Though they're much, much larger, but equally social. They live together in these groups. And then, just like the dwarf mongoose back on Juma, in termite mounds. And aren't they sweet? So sweet, in fact, that someone might be tricked into thinking that they rake for good pets. They don't. I've had a banded mongoose, I've told this tale many times, but for our new viewers, I've had a banded mongoose hanging from my septum by its teeth, clinging on quite, quite happily. And they tend to be a one-person kind of an animal, and it's usually based on gender. <laughs> Machine gun nest, absolutely. Um, a meal for a martial eagle sitting, waiting patiently. And you can see, when you watch them go out in the open areas, they are absolutely terrified, because Machine gun nest is absolutely correct. Martial eagles very frequently prey on banded mongoose, it's one of their favorite food sources out here. So they've got to be constantly alert. And you see when they move through open areas, they're terrified. They don't stick around for long, and it's not because they're scared of us. It's because they're absolutely terrified of what's in the sky above them. And I've noticed they tend to have more sentries around and constantly looking up than our dwarf mongoose, the dwarf mongoose do. Even though we do get eagles that would eat a mongoose on Juma as well. Oh, big stretch. It's quite chilly here in the mornings. Not as cold as it is on Juma at the moment, but still chilly enough. A nice time to pop out and sun themselves. Now, don't disappear completely. Shell? No, we do not. No meerkats here in the Mara. It is far too wet here. Um, in fact, it is much... M the, the average annual rainfall is much higher here than it is even on Juma. So it is much, much wetter here. I think it's one of the reasons, Brent and I were talking about this earlier, one of the reasons why we don't see scorpions here either. It is just far too wet. And a meerkat is essentially a mongoose. I mean, yes, they belong in a different genus, but it's essentially a mongoose, and it belongs to the same family, the Herpestidae family. And essentially, they're really adapted for the drier climates, the more arid climates. So if you go towards somewhere like the Kalahari, you'll find lots and lots of mongoose, uh, meerkats. Me meerkats and mongoose, I cannot keep those two straight when I'm talking about them. There's our Ellie's. Here we go. Here's some elephants off in the distance as well. So I just want to see what that cow's so upset about. She's upset about something. I can't quite tell what, though. Is <laughs> that a vehicle drive past us shouting, Nat Geo? <laughs> oh, goodness. It happens to us on a relatively regular basis. You're going to have to get used to that. I don't know if you could hear it, Dave. You could. What's wrong, girl? I'm upset about something. Maybe just chasing a young bull away can see she's got a little one with her. There's two little ones in this herd. Oh, and one straggler. Dave, look here. Let me duck out of the way. Whoops. Running after the rest of the group. Wait for me, guys. And now the buffalo are on the move as well. Oh, it's all happening here. Exactly where we had the lions yesterday. I'm sure they're still around here somewhere. Watch this elephant's body language with this buffalo. Look at this. Head up, tail out. Oh, he's going for it. Is he going to go chase it? <laughs> you silly little boy. <laughs> Upset.